We hope you enjoyed the Rings and Dots Lab. Now that you found your own sorting strategy, let's discuss the sorting strategy of the periodic table. The periodic table of elements is organized as follows. The row number corresponds to the number of rings in each atom, such as rubidium, which has five rings. The column or group number corresponds to the number of dots on the outside rings, also known as valence electrons. Each element has its own atomic number, which corresponds to the number of dots or electrons in a neutral atom. Atoms can have more or less electrons than their atomic number. However, you won't need to understand that yet. For now, we will focus on neutral atoms. Each circle around the nucleus represents a different energy level. Atoms like to have completely full or empty outer energy levels. This makes them stable. The first energy level needs two electrons to be full. Energy levels two and three like to have eight electrons to be full. You will learn about what happens with four or more energy levels later. For now, we will stick to three energy levels. Also, it's important to understand that elements with the same number of valence electrons in the same group or column have similar physical properties. So based off of all of this knowledge, let's come up with a few content statements. The row number corresponds to the number of rings. The column number corresponds to the number of dots on the outside rings. And the box number corresponds to the number of dots. The dots are electrons, the rings are energy shells, and the number of dots in the outer ring are valence electrons. Elements with the same number of valence electrons have similar physical properties. So now you can fully understand the periodic table and how it relates to your own sorting strategies.